Um, some months ago, ladies and gents, I wrote a poem uh, with some useful and invigorating advice for the, for the young men, on the subject of dating younger men, on how they may want to improve themselves. Um, young, I say younger men, I'm talking about men born in the 80s, where I was born in the 60s. And Pat, that light isn't fucking bright enough, mate. Can you switch that shit up? Please. You know, what's the light bright? Anyway, um, so yeah, um, and it was called Former Q, and it ended with the words, uh, if sight of me makes you feel small, just turn around and face the wall. Or if you've any balls at all, please form a cue. And funny enough, um, Pat, didn't I put you in charge of my queue of young men? What have you done with my queue of young men, Pat? I can't, I haven't found them anywhere. I think I might take, uh, take Pat off, uh, off queue duty and put him in charge of complaints, man. <laughs> that would serve him, right? Complaints department, Pat Cash, Spoken Word London. <laughs> so I've written a follow-up to form a queue just to, just to make things even worse. Um, but I haven't learned it, apologies for that, so I'll have to read it. And um, for this, you know, because what I often do, I write poetry that rhymes and scans, and we don't know why, it just comes out of my head that way, which is really weird. But, um, uh, what you need to know for this, I've used other stories and fairy stories and songs and all sorts of things and recycled them. Uh, you need to know about Ali Barber and the Forty Thieves for this one. Um, you don't need to know much about it, I just wiki do it, you know. Um, <laughs> It's actually the story of the slave girl Morgiana because she does everything. She wipes out the forty thieves. She like two of them are killed on her behalf because she like screwed with their plans. She basically pours boiling oil on another thirty-seven while they're hiding in jars. And then the leader she mesmerises with a dance of the dagger before plunging the dagger into his heart. So you know, um, the forthright and effective young lady. I'm sure you know. Um, so yeah, here we go. This is the follow-up to former Q, and this is called the alibi. It's been brought to my attention that the attributes I mentioned when I said to form a cue, chaps, may give you the itchy coo flaps, but there's one thing I omitted while on you my wits were pitted, and yours is not to reason why I heard you've got an alibi. So today I'm Morgiana here to worry and alarm you, because I've shanked your gashag leader, he's a sorry sappy bleeder, I've dispatched a soulless soldier, toothless tiger, as I told you, and you're up next to do or die. I overheard your alibi. Barmy armies cannot fight me, fierce as hellhound dare not bite me, sits and dribbles like a puppy, you do likewise, K-hole yuppie. Sit and cower in your cat cave, I'm a clever as they get, slave, while I stay sober, you get high. You gave away your alibi. There's no need to hide in jars, mate. Venus doesn't want a Mars date. Morgiana wouldn't spoil you, I'm not going to boil in all you. Oil on troubled water, maybe. I'm so sick of slaughter, baby. I've no desire to make you fry. You've gone and cooked your alibi. Three down, 37 standing. Why is your lifestyle so demanding? Why the boastful copes up shouting? Why self-hating? Why self-doubting? Why the parody machismo? Why turn into gremlins, gizmo? Around midnight, you're a decent guy, but then kicks in the alibi. <laughs> Secret thoughts and furtive glances. Sneaky thieves take stolen chances. Guilty pleasure, fearful shame, self-loathing by another name. In cupboards under background noise, in Thailand with the lady boys. When open sesame they cry, each one supports the alibi. I just can't think how you must feel when no one talks and no one's real, when no one does and no one dares, when no one loves and no one shares. My Baidar has induced your fears. I've known about you all for years and watched you suffer, as have I. It's poisonous, your alibi. Your view inside your rattled cage of me and this embattled age is that I started it. Oh really? How I'd love to end it dearly. Diss me, hate me, slate me, block me, prove you're straight, try to unfrock me. <laughs> but all your efforts to deny just reinforce your alibi. Do you think that you disgust me? Can't believe you didn't trust me. Tr should have tried your hand confessing. I like bi guys and cross-dressing. I'll make you up volcano hot. There's more of you guys by than not. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. Superfluous, your alibi. Your secrecy's a rusty pair. Your alibi's a flimsy veil. Transparent as new wings unfurled. If you came out, you'd change the world. And if you want to form a cue, by all means do it two by two. Why not hold hands, boys? Don't be shy. I've seen right through your alibi. Is that the right time? That's great. Is that the
Huh? Is that a real tick or this is a... How much time have I got? That's a real tick. That was the tick. <laughs> that was the tick. I filled the five minutes. Thank you very much, guys. Can I just quickly say, if anybody is in the closet, get the right people to support you. If you're scared of coming out of the closet, you have not got the right people in your life. Do not live the bullshit life. Live the life you want to live. Thank you. Woo!